Minister, with each passing day, the effect of your flawed energy policies become more and more apparent. Yep. From exasperated seniors to struggling small businesses to manufacturers leaving the province, yep. the results are the same. Ontario's rates are making it uncompetitive in the world market. Now, some more bad news. On Saturday, rates are going up again. Mm -hmm. It will be up to 14 cents a kilowatt hour, which is more than triple what it was when your party took power. Skyrocketing hydro, hydro rates have become a second tax on manufacturing and small business, which kills jobs or sends them to Mexico. Yet, you're still signing expensive contracts for intermittent, unreliable power. Minister, is Question. it not time to reverse the policies that have made a few Liberal insiders very rich at the expense Thank of you. everyone else? Tax and spend. Minister of Energy. Mr. Mr. Speaker, uh, I appreciate the question uh, from the minister, although I'm a bit surprised by the uh, scope of it and how broad the question is, because he did attend my speech to the Ontario Energy Association about two weeks ago, which was a 20-minute speech, Mr. Speaker, and afterwards he told me he agreed with everything that was in it. He couldn't disagree with anything. And, however, Mr. Speaker, uh, as he knows, uh, the Ontario Energy Board uh, does the rating for uh, for prices in the province of Ontario, and uh, as of November 1, 2014, the new prices will increase average monthly time of use bills by about 1.7 percent, or 2.3 cents uh, on the average house household. Uh, our government modernized an electricity system that needed significant upgrading yes, territories. Uh, the current price results in electricity bills that are below the forecast we set in the 2013 long-term energy plan. And when I get to the uh, supplementary, Mr. Speaker, I'd be Thank very you. happy to speak to the industrial rates that he referred Thank to. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, the minister did deliver a good speech. Unfortunately, his policies are delivering jobs to Mexico. Yeah, exactly. Minister, you know that by continuing to sign new expensive energy contracts, Ontarians will continue to endure higher prices. You know that new intermittent energy, when it comes online, you will have to sell more power at a loss to our competitors yep. at a time when we don't need it. Yep. You know that peak and off-peak hydro rates rise Ontario's ability it, when, you, when they rise, Ontario's ability to compete falls. Minister, I'll ask you again, will you stop exporting jobs to Mexico and place affordability as a cornerstone of Ontario energy policy? Thank you. Minister. Mr. Speaker, That's the member right knows that uh, we had significant price pressures because we converted to a clean system and we went from deficit to surplus. In, in those price pressures, Mr. Speaker, we have, over a period of the last several years, created very significant price mitigation measures, Despite including that. in the industrial sector, uh, expanding the IEI program so hundreds of newly eligible companies can qualify for electricity rates among the lowest in North America, Mr. Speaker. In Pembroke, his hometown, Mr. Speaker, the MDF paperboard plant is reopening, has yes. reopened after being accepted into the program, creating 100. 40 new jobs for the area. There are significant companies across the province accessing that. And he will also know that in our budget, Mr. Cheryl Speaker, we had two provisions yes, uh, to mitigate prices further for the industrial sector. I'm very happy to uh, arrange a briefing for the member, Mr. Speaker, so he will learn about how we have taken significant steps to mitigate electricity prices in the province of Ontario. No question?